To some, like Henry Penny, they are a labor-saving wonder of modern civilization. I'd be lost without use of a leaf blower. To others, leaf blowers are a noisy, polluting, pointless curse. Don't even mention them to actress Julie Newmar. Oh, close the windows, put on the earphones, turn up the music to full volume. In communities across the country, the leaf blower is confronting winds of change. In Greenwich, Connecticut, Gretchen Biggs, an environmental attorney, has been a leader in a campaign to ban the blower. Leaf blowers are used here in Greenwich interminably, excessively, incessantly, all the time. In Orinda, California, near San Francisco, Susan and Peter Kendall feel their home of 15 years is a piece of paradise. The sun rises over Mount Diablo, uh -huh. and it's just magical. And some days, the fog slips over the top from Berkeley. But then, the leaf blowers start up. Very difficult. <laughs> Too much noise. For years, the Kendalls suffered in silence. We just finally mm -hmm. said, we've had enough. Let's write a letter to the editor. As soon as that letter hit, people started looking us up in the phone book and calling our home and saying, right on, Kendalls. I never thought other people had an issue with it. Maya McBride, a mother of three, was one of many who responded to the Kendalls letter with a leaf blower grievance of her own. We didn't notice it until maybe about a year into, our, into living here. Um, when we realized we couldn't have any birthday parties for our kids on a Saturday. You couldn't have a birthday party in the backyard for a kid? No, we couldn't. Because? Because the leaf blowers went on for so long, and they were so loud. In leafy Orinda, the Kendalls were suddenly leading a movement for change. This has an acoustic silencer on it right there. Although the city council turned down their first bid for an outright blower ban. So far, the Orinda city council agrees with me. <laughs> so far. <laughs> Henry Pinney is one of the residents staunchly defending his right to bear power tools. I need to use a leaf blower. A broom will not work in my situation. And I don't want to spend three, three hours a week working with a broom on this. You can see we've got a lot of stuff here. Peter Kendall decided he had to know the enemy. He bought his own leaf blowers, both gas and electric, along with a device to measure the noise. 104, 103.9. Yeah, 103.9. 103.9 decibels. So, wow. <clears throat> right in your ears, too. Sustained exposure to more than 95 decibels can cause hearing loss, but it's not just the noise. Leaf blowers blast out air at 195 miles an hour greater than the winds in a Category 5 hurricane. And that blows up a lot more than leaves, says Gretchen Biggs in Greenwich, Connecticut. They're not really leaf blowers, they're dust blowers. And they blow up animal feces, mold, allergens, spores. Leaf blower manufacturers who sell four million blowers a year in the U.S. have taken note of the campaign across the country to ban them. Larry Will works for Echo, which makes gas blowers. He says the company has drastically reduced the noise and environmental impact. As of 2005, the exhaust emission has been reduced by 85 percent. So their argument of health issues, to me, is grasping at straws, if you will, because it's not true. It certainly was at one time. Leaf blowers first appeared in Japan in the 1960s to spread pesticide. They became popular in the United States in the 1970s, primarily in California, which has been the epicenter for leaf blower wars since Carmel was the first city to ban them back in 1975. Santa Monica followed in 1991. But after years of little enforcement, Mayor Richard Bloom decided to crack down on them last year. It really was affecting people. Um, so we would get these calls and, and it became uh, important. Now, landscapers in this beachfront town only use rakes and tarps to clean up leaves. Well, residents turned to technology to quiet the neighborhood. 
We have an iPhone app that... There, there's an app for that. There's an app for that, and, uh, and it's very easy to use. Show me how it works. Sure, be happy to. So I can choose leaf blower, select that, and that gives it a category. I can add comments, I can add contact information, and then once all the information is in, just click Submit. Here, the peace and beauty of this can be shattered with one leaf blower. That's right. Actress Julie Newmar, who played Catwoman in the 1960s, reports her neighbors to anyone who will listen. She led a successful campaign to have gas blowers banned in Los Angeles in 1998. But all these years later, she says, nobody follows the law. It's a blight on any neighborhood. It's war without our permission. It's not good for us. We don't need it. It's not necessary. Get rid of it. Some may see leaf blower wars as a luxury of comfortable suburban neighborhoods in a world with plenty of more serious problems. But those fighting for a little peace and quiet say in a troubled world, this is one problem for which there is an easy solution. It works great, a rake and a broom, and it's peaceful.